guys, welcome to my first ever nail video. As some of you know, I was posting nail videos on Instagram, and a lot of you guys told me that I should start posting these on YouTube. So that's what I'm doing today. I decided that I was gonna do kind of a fall, leafy, branch, you know, that kind of deal, but this was too hard. So, still gonna go with the fall theme, only it's gonna be Halloween. Because you guys know Halloween is one of my favorite holidays, and you got the ghosts, you know, you got the pumpkins, you got all those good things, and mix it all together, and it's on your nails, and it looks great. So, let's get started. Today's video is only gonna consist of four colors using white, black, orange, and yellow. Our first one right here, we're gonna put a ghost, a pumpkin, a cobweb, and a candy corn. I'm gonna go over the white again because the white does look a little bit light, but you know, it's white, so one do not have to apply two coats. I'm actually gonna start with the pumpkin finger while the white dries since I did not have to do two coats of the orange. So this is where our fourth color comes into play. We're gonna be using a green. I'm using a detail brush like this type of brush to get the top of the pumpkin. around the top. Good, good, great, fabulous. And then we're gonna take it and we're gonna make it go into a little straight line right there. So this is like the top of the pumpkin. Now this is actually a jack-o'-lantern. We're gonna make this. I just like the word pumpkin better than jack-o'-lantern. I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna use a dotter here. It's a pretty small dot. I mean, I don't know. I can't really tell. This is a big dot. So here's a small one. I'm gonna make two little triangles here. for the eyes. They don't have to be perfect triangles, okay? Nobody's perfect, said Hannah Montana once. For the mouth of the pumpkin, I'm actually gonna use a toothpick because it'll be a little easier that way. Toothpick. Then you'll start in the corner. My nails are really short right now too, so this is a little bit harder to do. But no complaints, no complaints, and we're going to make it go down, and then I'm going to bring it up a little bit to kind of give it like a pumpkin, kind of cut out, jack-o'-lantern mouth. So you see, you see. See how there's a little missing spot right there. We're gonna call that a uh, missing tooth. So yeah, that's gonna be our jack-o'-lantern today. I don't know why it looks really dark in the camera, but it's actually pretty light. Now I'm gonna go back and do the ghost. We are gonna be using black again. Black is actually a key essential in this, but I mean, it's a Halloween nail tutorial, so I don't really get how it wouldn't be. So I'm gonna start by doing the mouth. I'm gonna actually use the bigger end of my dotter, which I showed you guys earlier. And we're gonna take it right here. We're gonna put this off to the side. And I'm gonna make a really big duct. Great, fantastic, lovely. And then I'm gonna take this and we're just gonna make kind of like a rainbow. And this is for the eyes of the ghost. That's kind of where we're at with those two. So next we're gonna do the 
spider web. I'm gonna take a another detail brush and I'm just gonna make a straight line to the center like so and then I'm going to go to the top and do that and then I'm gonna go to the bottom so now we've got kind of a cobweb shape so this is the harder part we're gonna have to make it go down a little we're gonna come in here and we're gonna kind of curve it and back up if this doesn't look perfect on you, it doesn't look perfect on me either. We're gonna go back down and up, and down and up, and down and up. Okay, that was kind of up and down, but it looks good. Repeat that until we get to the outside. So, cobweb actually looks pretty good, I think with our ghost and our pumpkin that we have so delicately created. For the last nail of today, our candy corn, we're gonna take back the white from our ghost. I don't really know how I feel about candy corn though. My sister really likes them. I personally think they kind of taste kind of waxy. I can't decide if I like them or not. I'm gonna take the orange and I'm just gonna do a little stripe. Stripey. As you can see, I have messed up the orange just a little tad. Um, but it's okay because I'm also gonna show you guys how to fix your mistakes in this. That's a key part because no one's perfect, like I said. Advanced nail polish remover. And this has acetone in it. And that is a very powerful remover. I'm gonna go back here and I'm just gonna, I took taking a detail brush and I'm just gonna wipe that down. This is your Halloween nail design. I think it's really fun, really cute. You know, there's a lot of places you could wear it like I'm wearing it to school. But yeah, you know, so if you wanna give this a try, I highly encourage you. It's not very hard. It's a pretty simple design and you can definitely trick your friends into thinking that you are amazing at nails with this design. Okay guys, so that's the end of my nail video for today. And remember, if you wanted to get any of the colors that I use, the link is in the description below. Also, I think I'm gonna put the link in the description for the daughters because if you want to know what kind I use. Anyway, so if you attempted to do this nail design, please post a picture of it on Instagram and tag me, Maddie Lee Official. I would love to see your attempts of this design. It might even look better than mine. I don't know. I would love to see you do this design. And I'm probably going to like and comment your pictures. I'm going to try. So if you did this nail design, please post a picture of it. I would love to see it. And as always, remember to click the subscribe button, leave a comment down below, and hit the thumbs up button on this video. And until next time, I'm Maddie Lee. So far from the stars And I want to tell you everything The words I never got to say the first time around